In this video, we're going to do some more questions on simultaneous equations. This is question number six. We're told the diagram below shows the line with equation y equals x minus 1 and the circle with equation x squared plus y squared equals 25. The line intersects the circle at the points A and B. We're asked to find the length of the chord AB in the form P root Q. So here's A and here's B. We've got y equals x minus 1 and x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. What I'm going to do is solve simultaneously to find the coordinates of A and B and then simply use the distance formula. So we've got now equation 1, y is equal to x minus 1. I'm simply going to substitute that in to equation 2. So we're going to have on here x squared plus well, we have y squared, so I'm going to write my expression as x minus 1, all squared, and that is equal to 25. So I've eliminated y by substituting in. This is going to give me a quadratic equation in x, so I'll have x squared, expanding the brackets, x squared minus 2x plus 1, and that's going to be equal to 25. So we can say this is 2x squared minus 2x minus 24 is equal to 0. We can simplify x squared minus x minus 12 is equal to 0. So if we just look at this now, that looks like it's going to factor. We're going to have x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 3, which is going to be equal to 0. So we'll have x is equal to negative 3 and then x is equal to positive 4. We can find the y coordinate by substituting in. So if x is equal to negative 3, y is going to be equal to, we've got negative 3 subtract 1, which is going to be negative 4. And then if x is equal to 4, substituting in, y is going to be equal to positive 3. So if I just put these points on here, let's go ahead and pop these on. We've got this point just here, which is going to be b, which is 4, 3. And we've got this point just here, which is going to be negative 3, negative 4. So that's what we've got. And now all we need to do is find the distance. So we can say now that ab, the distance, using the distance formula, is going to be the square root of 4 subtract negative 3, so 4 subtract negative 3, which we need to square, plus now we've got 3 subtract negative 4, so 3 minus the negative 4, which we need to square. So what we've got here, and we can write this lots of different ways, I can write this as, I can either write it as 7 squared plus 7 squared, or I can write it as 49 plus 49. So we need to write this in the form P root Q. If you want to, you can write this as the root of 98, which we can write now as 7 root 2. So at this stage, you could have just written this now as the square root of 7 squared plus 7 squared, which we could have gone straight to this point from here. It's entirely up to you on how you want to do it. So the distance from A to B, or the length of the chord AB, is 7 root 2 units. OK, let's look at another one. So that's question 6. In question 7, part A asks us to sketch the graphs of y, uh, 3x is equal to 4y, and y is equal to 48 over x on the same set of axes, showing any points of intersection with the coordinate axes. So let's do this. So what we've got here now is a reciprocal function. So y is equal to 48 over x. So what we're going to have is something that looks like that. So I'll come around and do something like so. And then this will look something like that. Now you could argue that the gap between this curve and the x and y axis will be bigger. Um, but in terms of what we're doing, we don't have a scale on it, so it doesn't really matter. So that's that one. That's y is equal to 48 over x. We could do 3x is equal to 4y, or we could write y is equal to 3 over 4x. 
That's going to be a line that goes through the origin with a gradient of three quarters. And I'm going to put that on and that'll look something like so. So there we go. Probably just, let's just turn this slightly. That looks perfectly fine. Remember, this is just a sketch. So we can say that 3x is equal to 4y. We need any points of intersection with the coordinate axis. Well, we can see that it's just going to be this point, 0, 0. The point now for the, uh, where the line crosses the coordinate axis, this other graph, this reciprocal graph, will never cross the coordinate axis. In part B, we need to find the coordinates of the points where the graphs meet. So what we're looking for is this point here and this point here. Got lots of different choices on how we're going to do this. I'm going to say that equation 1 is going to be 3 over, uh, 3 over 4x is equal to y. And then equation 2, I'm going to say now that 48 over x is going to be equal to y. So I've got an expression now in terms of uh, x for y in both of these. Therefore, I'm going to set these equal. I'm going to say that 3 over 4x is going to be equal to 48 over x. I'm going to multiply now both sides by x. If I do that, I will clear the fraction. So in doing that, it's going to give me, and I'll do this step by step, we're going to have 3x squared over 4 is equal to 48. At this stage, I'm going to divide both sides by 3 quarters. If I divide 48 by 3 quarters, I'm going to get 64. Alternatively, you could divide uh, by 3 here and multiply by 4, entirely up to you. So from this, we can see that x is going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 64. So x is equal to plus or minus 8. So at this stage, we need to find the y coordinates. So I'm going to write here, when x is equal to 8, we've got this point just here. y is going to be equal to 48 over 8. y is going to be 6. We can say when x is equal to negative 8, y is going to be equal to 48 over negative 8, which is going to be now negative 6. So this point just here, we're going to have the coordinates 8, 6. And this point just here, we're going to have now negative 8, negative 6. So there are points of intersection or the coordinates of the points where the graphs meet. Uh, in part C, we need to write down the x-coordinate that lies on the line 3x equals 4y, but not the curve y equals 48 over x. So nothing to do with simultaneous equations necessarily, but hopefully we should know now that y is equal to 48 over x will be for all values other than x cannot now be equal to 0. So division by 0 is undefined, therefore the x-coordinate that will lie on the curve on the line just here but not on the curve is the point uh, where x is going to be zero so just an additional bit as you would get with some exam style questions they do lots of different things and then there may be an additional part but two questions looking at simultaneous equations